Hello, it is the 21st of December. Um, I have finished work for Christmas time. Uh, I don't have to go back to work until the 28th. So that's nice, I get a whole week off work. So I thought what I would do is a little reading vlog. Um, I haven't really read any classics this year. So I thought I would do a sort of classics at Christmas time reading vlog. Um, Cause I want to read Little Women before I see the new movie. And also it's a quite a wintry kind of book. Um, so I'm gonna read Little Women to start with. And then I have a few other classics that I've read before but would like to reread because I haven't read for years. So yeah, classics at Christmas time is what this is going to be. So the second chapter of Little Women is called A Merry Christmas. So I think I'm going to feel very festive after reading this today. It's Christmas. <coughs> uh, Christmas Day. I am about halfway through Little Women. I'm enjoying it so far. It's very much about um, the relationship between the sisters, obviously. Um, there's a lot about being good and neighbourly and stuff like that. It's been very festive. Um, I'm at the point in the book where it's not winter anymore, so I sort of I heard the Christmas chapters too soon, maybe. Um, but I'm enjoying it and it's quite quick to read. Um, it's not a it's not a difficult classic, I don't think. So I'm hoping to have that done by tomorrow. And then I'm a little bit undecided on what I'll read. I'm thinking maybe I'll reread some Jane Austen maybe. Um but we'll see. Um yes, we'll see. I'm gonna get Back to my Christmas festivities now. It is the 27th of December. Um, I finished reading Little Women this morning. I really enjoyed it. I'm familiar with the story anyway because I've seen lots of adaptations of it and things over the years. Um, but this was my first time reading it. I really enjoyed it. However, I only realised last night, um, just from how far through the book I was, that the copy that uh, my family has, it was uh, my grandmother's um, and now my mum owns it, um, that the version that my grandma had uh, is only the first part of the story because when uh, the story was originally published, um, the story that's known as Little Women was published in two volumes, so there's Little Women and Good Wives, which in its entirety is the story that people know as Little Women. So the copy of Little Women we have is Little Women, not Good Wives. So I've got up to the point in the story, um, spoilers, where everything is actually quite happy. Um, Meg and Mr. Brooke just got uh, sort of engaged. Um, it's the second Christmas that happens in the books, the dad is back, um, Beth's feeling better for now, um, and everyone's quite happy. So I want to read Good, Good Wives, obviously, to continue, um, but I know that it's about to get real sad, <laughs> so, um, and also I don't know we don't seem to have a copy of Good Wives, but we have a copy of Little Men, which is then set like years later, which I think is about like Joe's kids, um, or Joe and Meg's and the girls' children. Um, so we have Little Women, we have Little Men, but we don't have Good Wives, which goes in the middle. So I'm gonna have to find a copy of that somewhere and read it at some point in 2020. Um, but yeah, so Little Women, good. I think I'd give it maybe four stars. Um, and now I need to decide what to read next. Um, we have like a classic shelf downstairs in our dining room. Um, so I think I might search on that for like a small, um, a short book. 
because I wanted to do this all between like before Christmas and finish by New Year's so it's like classics at Christmas time um, so I want something small because obviously it's the 27th um, so I only have a few more days until the end of the year um, and if I can't find anything I want to read that's short I think I might just go for rereading Northanger Abbey because I haven't read that in a long time the last time I read it I was 18 I think because I read it for my A-levels at school um, so I've not read it in about six years um, and I really enjoy Northanger Abbey as a story so if I can't find anything on my shelf downstairs I'm gonna just go to my bookshelf there and get Northanger Abbey. So it's a couple of days after I finished reading Little Women. I took a break and I read something not classic-y. Um, I read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson I want to say um, and really enjoyed it. I uh, recommend it as a YA thriller. Um, but now I'm gonna get back to the classics. Um, I'm gonna read The Railway Children by E. Nesbitt because it's quite short and I want to read this before the end of the year so The Railway Children it is. So I finished my little classics at Christmas time project. I finished reading The Railway Children. Um, I gave it three stars I think. I read someone else's review which I really agreed with that said that it felt sort of like it should be a collection of short stories because um, it's quite uh, episodic in that they have a little adventure um, you know that they stop the train from crashing that happens that's concluded um, they steal the coals from the station that happens that's concluded they celebrate Perks's birthday that's the thing that happens and then that's concluded and then they uh, help the boy in the hare and hound race and then that's sort of concluded and then there's a sort of a subplot of their father that runs throughout the book but only really Bobby uh, their oldest child is involved in that and her mother so it's sort of to the background and you don't really find out the whole truth of that um, at all um, and you only really find out bits of it well, Bobby only finds out and that's how you find out um, towards the end of the book so it's not really a massive focus um, but it was fairly enjoyable um, obviously because it's set in the past um, it's all but religious at points it's all about being good and uh, trusting in God which it's okay, that's perfectly fine to read, um, but as, an, as someone who's not religious, it's not my go-to kind of fiction. Um, and also there was a bit at the end where the doctor was talking about how the boy, there's two girls and a boy, those are the children, um, the doctor was talking about how uh, Peter had to be brave and strong because the girls couldn't because they're women um which yes he was saying it to encourage peter but it also annoyed me <laughs> but in general i've really enjoyed doing this classics at christmas time because it's such a cozy time of year i think and so reading these books that are about being at home with family um and you know being kind and being good and making do with what you have I think has been really nice to read and as someone who spends Christmas with their family um you know I'm lucky to have family that are very loving and kind and I live with my family and love my family and uh, I spend Christmas with them so reading about loving families um spending time together was nice for me um, and yeah, these books have been good and not really problematic, which I was a little bit worried about um, when reading, you know, older books 
but the railroad children and little women were okay um, and I really enjoyed my time I think I might do this again in Christmas New Year's 2020 and going into 2021 so I really had a really nice time um, I think it's very fitting that I'm closing this out with a Christmassy mug uh, so I hope you've all had a lovely holiday season, whatever you may celebrate or not celebrate. Um, and a happy new year. I hope 2020 is good to us all.